y'all welcome to my channel so we're gonna be making my cousin's baby shower cake today um her baby shower is tomorrow so let's get into it so she wanted a two-tier cake and she wanted the whole entire cake to be red velvet with cookies and cream filling and i piped the dam around and put the filling in the middle usually i only do this if i have like a fruit filling so that the filling doesn't seep out but i'm just used to it so then i just repeat the process throughout the whole entire cake this is my six inch cake and then i'm gonna do the eight inch which is this one um it's the same thing has cookies and cream filling in the middle um she wanted an all pink cake um so here i'm crumb coating my eight inch cake i usually do my cakes three layers it depends if somebody wants a taller cake i would do a four layer cake depending on how many people they're trying to feed so here, I'm just crumb coating and I'm gonna put this in the freezer for about five minutes. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps with my six inch cake and I am crumb coating it and I'm gonna put this into the freezer as well for five minutes. You could put it in the fridge, but you just have to put it in the fridge a bit longer. The freezer just works faster for me. Then you get your bench scraper and smooth out your cake. Now, when your cake is nice and cold, you're gonna take it out and apply your second coat of your frosting i'm using my american buttercream frosting and if you guys want the recipe for my american buttercream let me know in the comments and i'll make a video about that as well and then when you're done with your second coat you're gonna put it back into the freezer for like 10 minutes just so i could get nice and firm so that we can take off the excess on the top so you could get your sharp edges there i have a boiling pot of hot water um you can use a flame gun or a torch whatever you want to call it to make your bench scraper hot i don't have one so this is what i'm doing this just takes those extra pieces that you have on the top and makes your cake super sharp as you can see here and then i dipped my whole bench scraper into the pot of water so i can smooth out the top and then it gives you those nice sharp edges now here i'm just putting my dowels or straws whatever you want to call them into my cake for support for the top cake um i go ahead and put i think i put about five i think <laughs> five or six i just try to match whatever cake size is going on top to the number of dowels i'm putting at the bottom and so then I just take some extra buttercream that I had and I put it where you can see a little bit of the openings and I just smooth this out so it can just look a lot smoother and you won't see any gaps. Um, now I'm going to apply this gold ribbon. Um, it's not edible. You could get this at Michael's or Amazon. Um, I usually buy the big rolls from a cake supply store near me. Um, and I'm just applying this to the bottom of each cake. Here I'm putting it at the bottom of the eight inch and then I'm gonna do the same thing and put the gold ribbon at the bottom of my six inch cake. So now once I've put my ribbon at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the teddy bear that I made. Also, if you guys wanna know how to make this cute little teddy bear, let me know in the comments and I will drop a video on how I did that. Um, I'm putting the arm up because my little teddy bear is going to be holding some strings. I'm going to use this clay machine or extruder and put some white fondant in there and just extrude that fondant out to give me some string looking, you know, this is going to be my balloon string. And then I put it, I, did, I forgot to record where I put it on the bear's hand, but as you can see there, I applied it with some piping gel. Um, and then I got some clouds and I'm going to cut these out and put them onto my cake. These clouds, I got them on Amazon. I think I just typed fondant cloud cutter. I'm not sure what I did, but um, then you're going to just apply the clouds to your cake. It could be scattered. I like to put it in different locations just so it doesn't look so bunched up. Now these balls that I'm putting onto the cake i didn't make them but i bought them from my local cake supply store i think they're like plastic the only ones i did make was these pink ones that i'm putting on right now because they didn't have that color so i just went ahead and rolled out some fondant and i mixed it with some gum paste um just so it could firm up and i 
put these on the side of the cake going upwards to make it look like the balloons are going up. I never did a cake this style, but I'm glad that she asked for a cake like this because I can add it to the stuff that I always wanted to do. So this is how the cake turned out at the end. I'm very happy with how it came out. Let me know what you guys think about this cake in the comments and I'll see you again in my next videos that I post. Thank you.